Peter Underwood's Ghost Watch. We spend almost a third of our lives asleep and dreaming, a strange and still largely unexplained condition, and occasionally dreams and ghosts seem to intermingle and overlap in a disconcerting fashion. Sir Harold Bolton, who wrote the Sky Boat Song, always vouched for the authenticity of a very strange story. When he was a boy, Harold's mother had a recurring dream of a house set in beautiful gardens. Inside, the decoration and the contents were of the finest quality. She spoke of her dream often, and after a while seemed to know every corner of the house. However, gradually the dream became less frequent and finally ceased altogether. And here my tale would end, were it not for a strange coincidence. Some years later, Sir Harold bought Ballyhoolish House in Scotland. His mother was to live with him, and he took her up to see the property. But she had already seen it. In fact, she knew it like the back of her hand. The Ballyhoolish House was the house of her dreams. The former owner, Lady Beresford, showed them round, and Mrs Bolton then discovered several things were different. She asked about a fireplace, a window, a doorway, and in every case Lady Beresford said, oh yes, it used to be like that, but we altered it. But the strangest thing of all happened as they were about to leave. Lady Beresford took Mrs Bolton on one side and said, my dear, you won't mind me mentioning it, will you? But you're the ghostly little lady that used to haunt Ballyhoolish House some years ago. I heard this tale from Alistair MacGregor, former secretary to the Duchy of Lancaster, who knew the Boltons, and Ballyhoolish House stands to this day. I'm Peter Underwood, and I'll be back on Ghost Watch soon. <laughs>